they're fired up. They can't wait to get back on the field together. They can't wait for practice. Um, it's just a good, good vibe with the team. Good vibe with the team. We just want to play. We wish it was here this week. We wish we were playing games earlier. Um, but they're, they're fired up. They're ready to go. Um, there's nothing that beats competition. There's nothing that beats just warm weather and playing baseball and being on the field, playing the game that you love. When we, when we first went to Kansas State, it was, it was a weird feeling. You know, we were seeing the NBA. You know, we, we knew COVID was, became a serious thing when the NBA got canceled. And actually, when we got into Kansas City, the Big 12 basketball tournament actually just got canceled. So we could definitely feel a different vibe. You know, Rufy gets a phone call and it was weird. And people were kind of like guessing what's going on and stuff. Um, and you know, he brings it up and is like, hey guys, we gotta get home. And you know, everything kind of just happened so fast. You know, then we're on the bus back to the hotel and every conference tournament basketball is getting canceled and seasons are getting canceled left and right. And it just happened within like a few hours. So I think it was just a whirlwind of so much emotion within a few hours. We're missing out on 40 plus games in the spring. A lot of the guys missed out on 50 plus games in the summertime. So I think again, it's that, that life lesson that you, you gotta take to yourself and say, hey, Nothing's ever granted in life. Just because you're used to something a certain way and you've always done this, um, doesn't mean that that can't change. So just being able to look at a, a different perspective. And um, I really wanted the guys to use that time to find a way to get better individually. Me personally, I'm really excited to get back. It's been almost a year since I've competed against another team. And it's, it's fun playing in practice, face our own arms playing against our own guys, but you know, it's, it's a lot more fun to compete against somebody else. It's been a year, so the guys, are e they were eager to get back in the fall and, and get after it, and you could tell we had a really good fall, and uh, this, this spring so far has been good, and you know, we're a week, about a week away now, so guys are, they're really, really excited to get going, and um, I think it's gonna be a good year. We're not gonna take a single moment for granted. We get to practice together. Uh, each day counts and we just really rely on that brotherhood. We look forward to the time we get to practice together. Because really outside of practice, with all the, the protocols and everything, you know, this is our time that we get to bond together and make those connections. And, and I'm really excited for our team. We're working hard and we're just, we're really striving to want to be the best we can be this year. We wanted as head coaches to say, hey, let's put our student athletes in the best position to play the most amount of games. So going from a 30 game conference schedule to a 40 games conference schedule allowed us to make sure we could play an additional 10 games at a minimum. It also allows us five extra home games. So you're just thinking about it from a coach's point of view. We can play more home games. We can make sure that if something crazy happens, we at least have the conference games. And then we can kind of work backwards from there. We can easily fill in an extra 15, 16, 20, whatever the case may be of non-conference games. But we just wanted to make sure that, um, again, our guys are playing as many games as possible. We're a really old team. We have a lot of old guys. So it's not just me, Nick and Davis, um, it's everybody. I would say 90% of our team are veteran guys and they've been here before. And the freshmen done a really good job too. Um, they've come in and taken their roles and ran with them. Um, they're gonna compete for jobs and they're gonna get a lot of playing time. And we're gonna have to count on those guys this year. This is my sixth year, so I mean, I've kind of seen it all. We were making MAC championships my freshman, sophomore year, and I learned the way through the older guys when I was a freshman and sophomore. And you know, just we're learning how to work hard and and just how everything's supposed to be done here and just the standard that Eastern Michigan baseball is supposed to be at. Um, so, you know, me being a captain now in a sixth year, I'm just trying to give that to the younger guys, you know, show them how everything's supposed to be done and, and just have them live up to the standard of Eastern Michigan baseball. Every single game matters. You know, it's, it's not a mentality of, you know, get hot for the MAC tournament to, to win the MAC tournament because there's no MAC tournament anymore. It's every game matters. And, you know, we're aiming to take the top. Numbers aside, I just kind of want to be the best player I can be personally. Um, and like I said earlier, never get too up, never get too down, and just know what I'm capable of and trying to bring that to the team every day and help us win in any way I can. When you talk about walking out to the field, it's O-Strike Stadium, and then you kind of break it down from there. You look at his career, you look at his journey, you look what he was able to do with his teams, and you can kind of show the guys, hey, this is what Eastern Michigan has done before. I tore my elbow beginning of my junior year, didn't get to play in a home game that year, missed my senior year, then last year with COVID. That's a, that's four years, that's a full college career I haven't played in a, in a home game. So I'm just excited to be back out there. You know, you know, this year with, um, you know, with my dad passing, him not being able to be there, you know, I just, it's going to be hard, but it's going to be really special to know that like I'm, I'm doing this for him and just cherish every single moment I have.